Let's be honest, the original Titan base design left a lot to be desired. At the time, it was a new and unique concept that really had nowhere to go. But now, after countless iterations of the base design, I believe that we have finally made a viable version. I present to you the Titan V2, a half-gap medium group base with tons of battlements. This base features an efficient two-floor starter A inner peak and battery floor. A semi open core slash room room. A wide gap shooting floor. And a simple yet spacious roof with peak ups. Before we get any further, I'd like to give a big shout out to Walker V2. He helped a lot with the design and it wouldn't be possible without him. Furthermore, if you have any questions or comments about the base, consider joining my Discord. The link will be in the description. There I can help you with whatever issues may arise. Okay guys, before we actually build the base, I want to go on a little tour just to show everything off. So if you see here, we have four external TCs, one on the opposite corner over here. Three of them are just going to hold up the wide gaps, while one over here will actually hold up the main upkeep of the TC. So if we go in here, you see that this is basically the upkeep for the entire base with all deployables and literally everything. This is the highest you're ever going to pay. And obviously this is beefed up to the most extreme version. So we come back over here, it's obviously disconnectables, but we jump into our gatehouse, okay? Gatehouse, we have simple head glitch peaks here, not bad, kind of nice. And continuing through we can actually enter one of our four entrances it's mirrored on every side just to keep it nice and consistent Oop. to our right we're gonna have a bedroom to our left we're gonna have drop boxes super simple you could obviously switch these around or add more drop boxes or whatever you you'd like all right entering through here the first thing to notice the difference from the version one to version two the other the inner peaks throughout here you see how it's all sealed off we're using these corner peaks as you can see here 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 and above me here as the peaks instead of the overhead peaks because you can't do them anymore because of the half gap, just all of it being patched up. But you can still see here that the bottom of the inner peaks has all the boxes. Here's the main entrance into the core. However, up and to our right, there's also more bedrooms with rotation. I can jump up here to our inner peak floor and you can see there's just more bedrooms up here. And then this will show off a little bit of the inner peaks. They're simple, but they're nice. You'll also notice that when I close these doors and I fly up here, I've actually positioned auto turrets in these little spots. These can actually hold your peaks really well, and those have been tested a good little bit. Right. Entering into our main airlock, you're going to see we have a little bit of a core peak from up above. When holding this, you just want to jump up here, jump up here, and this is how you want to hold this little peak. It's good one way. They can't really see you. It's good for everything. Furnace is to our left, bags right in the main doorway, followed by a very nice main loot floor this obviously does not need to be your main loot however this is what i'd call the starter unit so the first two floors here are just gonna be tons of storage for you and your group early game here is the main tc and as you can see it's really really cheap a thousand stone and 3.5k metal that's the main upkeep of your base pit practically it's this tc and the one outside so it seems like a lot but in reality it's the average cost of any base Jumping up to the next level, you'd see that we literally just continued that amount of loot space up here. It's beautiful, just as much space, as much storage as possible for all your early game needs. And you see, once we jump up to another level, you can see where the base comes in with that half gap quality. Up here, we just have shotgun traps all facing towards the same ladder hatch, making it super hard for control to be transferred. And finally, we jump up to what would be our shell deep of the base we have two loot rooms on either side or one loot room on either side this is just like a nice kind of middle game you want to throw a little bit of loot, split it up a little bit it's nice to have these kind of like they're not hidden but uh it's gonna take a lot to get to them so also this entire floor floor we have a few auto turrets watching the entire thing but it's mainly just a battle floor so when you see here we're back down to our inner peaks here we have a bedroom up to the right and when we go to the other kind of inner peaks we have bedroom here Bedroom here, bedrooms below, all for these inner peaks. So as you can see, 
this is just enough beds for everyone in your group to at least have one, if not two, if you're running a smaller group on like a mod server. Also, there are batteries kind of hidden in here. You can see that they're honeycombed on every side. So here they are. Good spot for the batteries, nice and hidden. Only two batteries in the space on this. There are other spots for batteries. However, these are the main two batteries that I like to use. Okay, jumping to the next level, we have bedrooms on either side, like so. And we enter into what I'd call a roam room. There's vending machines for flexing all of your rockets, your AKs, whatever you want to do. It's a nice little spot for that. And followed by just two nice big open loot rooms on each side. So lots of storage, lots of space. This is just another loot space. So if, what I would do is I'd take half my good loot downstairs, half my loot upstairs. If you want to split it up that way, otherwise, heck, put it all up here. It's personal preference. It's however you want to play it. It's also just like a semi-open core, if you would. Also, we got peeks into the core right here, which I'll show you now. They're not super effective core peaks. However, you can either leave them as the vertical embrasure or you can switch over to the other. It's all personal preference, whatever you want to use. This armored door will lead down the stream floor. And yes, I know I'm using armored doors. I usually don't, however, I opt to use it this time just because if you're in a group this big, you're going to get a few. Okay. Continuing around the shooting floor like this, you can see we have a good amount of peaks. Obviously, they're not anything crazy. You can switch out the shooting floor for something else if you'd like, whatever you want. Also, we have two bedrooms on the side that there's not entrances. Okay. Going back over here, you can see that these peaks are also our roof peaks. And it basically gives us a 360 coverage. There are some dead spots, but with any roof, that's going to happen. You have auto turrets above those little roof peaks and auto turrets above these little pods with some drop boxes for your roof. Followed by four windmills. Obviously, these are at a low height. You want to raise these up more when you're actually using them. All right. That about does it for the tour. There isn't much more to say. If you do have any questions on what you might want to improve, drop me a comment. I can help you out. I respond very quickly, as you may have known. If you've ever left a comment in the past, I'm more than happy to help with any questions building related. Without further ado, I'm going to jump us into the actual build now. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, now this is something I'm actually going to do in real time, opposed to not. So going off from any one of the squares here, so here we found a square, we're gonna go off three triangles and two squares. Now, obviously you should be doing this all on twig as you don't wanna be wasting resources. So now what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna place one low wall and upgrade it to wood, okay? Now, you're gonna place two low walls and shove your body as far up into this little crevice right here as you can. So as far up here, now break these two low walls without moving. Grab your building plan, cra grab a L-shaped stair, and you're gonna want to line up the little piece right where I have it here. And obviously I'm moving my camera around to make sure I have the angle right, but I'm gonna zoom in on this here for you. So now that you see where that is, what you're gonna do is you're gonna switch to a square foundation and stand up. Don't move your mouse, okay? Walk forward until it clicks back into place. So walk forward, walk back, walk forward, walk back, and you'll feel it click back in like this. You see this? Okay, now place the square. You'll see that this square is now floor stacked and half gapped. You can kind of test this by looking right here. You can see that this is obviously right. Okay, now we're actually gonna break this because we wanna go back with one more square before doing it. So now one square and three triangles. Make sure you can run through this low section. Okay, it's all good. Place a square, triangle, actually, high at a higher height, place a square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, triangle, triangle. Now, square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, 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 square, triangle, square, triangle, square, triangle, triangle, triangle. You get the pattern at this point and then make these three a higher height as well. There we go, nice little lag back. Okay, as you can see here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fly around and I can see that every wall is blue. That means you've done it perfectly. If one of the walls is red, you have done something wrong, you need to redo the floor stack. Really pay attention to this. If you mess up, I'm going to link a video in the description. That video should help you out in a number of ways by just giving you the exact thing you need to do, okay? If that doesn't help, that video in the description will be your best friend. Otherwise, ask me questions in the description or join my Discord. That's the best place to get that. Okay, at this point, we're gonna upgrade the shell. I like to do the inner pieces of sheet metal because I usually have the resources by now if I've been cooking in the core. These outer ones can be stone, and honestly, I'm using a tool to make this look easier. Here, I'm actually just gonna do this. All right, now that that's all done, our shell of our base has been complete. Now we're gonna wanna start building our entrances, our bedrooms and everything. This is all the battlements of the base. The main core, the, the circle base two floor is our starter unit to be frank. It's simple, it's meant to just kind of hold up in case of an attack, but it's nothing crazy. It shouldn't be able to hold up everything. Okay, so from this door right here, we want to place one double door here and a B grade back up to the normal thing. The side here will be our Dropbox lit room. I personally like to window this off, however, you could door it off. Place our doors, sealing this in. And now you're gonna repeat this step on every single side, okay? This is the same on every side. Dropbox on the left, bedroom on the right, that's it. Now, the next thing to know is that here, we're gonna put a window, a double door frame, and we're gonna seal this module off. This is the next module to think about. I'm gonna personally put a half height thing here. And now I'm going to build what is going to be partially our inner piece. So here, what you're gonna need to do here is you're gonna have to place a half wall here and a floor frame. Obviously only a little fly, so it makes it look easy. But for you, you're gonna wanna put a floor frame here at a half height so you can grab a ladder hatch and put it above for your rotation. You can put another floor frame in here, it really does not matter. Okay, now that that is, those are in peaks right here. That's that module. So now continuing with this module and this module, I'm gonna do it to every other side of the base. 
slow it down and you can look it up if you're having issues or ask questions in the description. Okay, something I forgot to mention is how to make the main external TC. So to do that, we're gonna build out three squares. They don't have to be raised or lowered. However, I'll be doing them lower just because it doesn't really matter. You can build three squares, place one more square, and then break the three squares go that you first started with. Now, place one hexagon with two squares off. This will be our wide gap, but you can either raise this to the desired height, like so, or we could leave it lower. I actually decided that I will be raising it today as just to be flush with the foundation height that we're actually setting for ourselves. Okay. I'm gonna build our gatehouses here, which are just windows on one side, half walls and the low walls on the other side, and double doors everywhere. Now before you seal off these little triangles, you want to jump up here to place your roof triangles. There might be another way to place this, however, I personally never found it. Right. Now we're going to do simple four, ro or, uh, four to eight rocket disconnectables, however expensive you make it. So to do that, you're just going to place one half moon, one square, and then build your external off. And that's just three triangles like so. Two half balls here and doors like this. And if you want to make it eight rockets, you got to sheet metal the connection and sheet metal this compartment that I just did here. And then placing a TC in this area. Okay, awesome. Break this little connection back. And obviously since this is a high foundation height, the place you want to build this base is like a valley where you can use that foundation height to your advantage. Just so you know. Come in here, your double door. Coming back to here. Perfect, this is your connection. And remember, eight rockets, you gotta sheet metal this. And to sheet metal actually everything effectively, here is the effective eight rocket. Cheapest, most effective. Boom, double door here, double door here. And we'll actually place windows on these two sides. Obviously, you gotta seal this off of the compound. You gotta use your metal barricades, but for now, I'm just gonna show you how to seal it back towards the base. Place two double door frames like so here. One, one frame like this, one frame like this, and connecting the last frame together. Now, by upgrading the sheet metal, and actually, technically all of this to sheet metal, like so, this is your external connected. So this spot right here, when you build it back to base, you wanna raise this up one more, like so, so you have the sheet metal like this, and connecting it like so. All right. Any questions about this, join my Discord. I can help out there. But this connection is for the main external. Already, at this point, you've seen that we've made the general outline of the shell. Now, obviously, I didn't actually add a single door to the bottom or any of the things that are really needed. So the first thing you might notice is that, wow, this jump is really high. So on three of the four sides, what I'll suggest that you do is just simply put a wood buildup right here. It obviously looks a little weird with a higher foundation height. However, by doing so, we're saving a ton of cost, making it a little more viable. Okay, same thing within here. But the opposite of that is you usually put boxes at the bottom of inner peaks as you're as extra drop boxes. So as you can see here, nice and simple. Okay, going back up here, now it's time to make the other module of Arian Peaks. Obviously, we already made the first module, which is here, but we wanna make our second one. So to do so, you simply place two windows like so, two half walls, and triangles like so. Now you fill in the rest of this. Here is where a bedroom can go, so you seal this top off on both sides. And for a lack of better words, that's it. Uh, if you want to make it even higher stability, it does cost a little bit in resources. But what you can do, this will help a little bit with stability at the top, but you can also door this off as a garage door for each bedroom. But it's personal preference at that point. The only thing I will say is you're going to want to use the horizontal embrasures on these as they're more of peaks like that and the other ones you're going to want to use verticals so just so you guys know those are the proper embrasures to use on them and obviously i'm going to continue this module on every side so if you have any questions come back look at it again okay next step is to seal off the shell it's a pretty easy concept it plays triangles in these little gaps that need triangles 
and then you fill it in like a three by one shell, which is pretty simple for most to explain. So triangles over one of the horizontals, and on one side, you do squares. Now at this point, it becomes pretty self-explanatory on how to fill, for anyone with a little bit of building knowledge. And then, this middle, we're going to want to do a floor frame, because this is just one of our ways up. Okay. As you can see here, the, all the outside drop downs are our inner peaks, and the middle one is going to be our central way up from the starter unit. So just to finish that off for you guys real quick, uh, you use low walls. You have this little section right here, just so no one can really sneak on through. And obviously it won't stop someone from soft siding through, but it will deter them a little bit, and that's all we're really going for. And obviously, you can actually crouch through here, and something to note is this can become a really good small furnace area if you want. It's the perfect height for a small furnace. As you see there, it's basically touching. So if you wanted to put all your smalls up on this level, it's a good idea. And then, usually this jump is pretty hard, unless you have like step 60 or something like that on. So another thing to note is throwing a box right here before you have a ladder hatch is beneficial as well. So just so you guys know, that's a little thing to keep your head about. All right. The next thing to make is to seal off this floor, which we'll do now. Okie dokie, next part, we are going to seal that off. This is where our batteries will go, so prior prioritize sheet metal in that. Two double doors, those are little battery rooms. Little issue with the sanctuary. Batteries can go there. On this side of here, is our oh this is the other side sorry right. yes all right these will be our jump ups apologies like so so this side will be our little badger room like so and obviously it's mirrored so one jump up kind of goes one way and one goes the other like so okay and then this wall actually does not belong this will go like this. Yes, yes, yes. So wherever I put a double door and swing it inwards will be a bedroom. So like this is a solo bedroom. Over here, these two are the normal bedrooms with then stability up here. Sealing off this entire roof. Coming down here. Over here, this right here, will become a doorway up into the side, which is another solo bedroom. And you can tell it's just like this entire floor is just going to be bedroom after bedroom after bedroom. It's nothing crazy. This will be one of our two ramp loot rooms for just that extra little bit of storage kind of early game and a little more secure spot. You could also turn these into battery rooms. It's it's really personal preference. This is just how I like to do it. Okay. Now coming in like this, we're gonna put a half pipe floor here. Well, actually, you can put a double door frame like this and seal this off for a turret. So that's actually gonna be a turret route. And then I actually like to two double doors like that. So that turret will be covering over a nice amount of stuff. And I'm actually gonna mirror this over here, even though I haven't finished that side yet. Perfect. Then, as you can see here, their entrance to this inner peak is above that turret, which drops down to these two bedrooms. And over here, yet again, we have another solo bedroom. Nice. Alrighty. Over here is just our entrance that eventually leads to this other set of rooms. And you can put bedrooms at the side of these is usually how people tend to do them. So 
at this point that is mirrored to its completion. These are your jump ups here. Sealing off just kind of the roof of this point so I can continue sealing off the inside. I'm gonna leave this three by one open for a second longer. So up into your left, you have a jump up, you have a solo bedroom in your way up, back to your inner peaks. Same mirrored over here, jump up, back to inner peaks, solo bedroom. back to inner peaks okay like that now your right side is going to be mirrored like this far right side leads to here battery room back to your inner peaks back here you have it like so where it goes back to inner peaks all right awesome so at this point we are going to seal off i'm actually going to seal it off sheet metal as that was that's what i prefer and usually what I usually like to do is this entire ring around that 3x1 also becomes sheet metal if I have the resources at this point. Yeah. Cool. Next thing to do, now that we have all of this situated, the next thing that comes is not only the shooting floor, but all of that stuff. So you see here, this door is actually going to be our shooting floor door on either side. So from those jump ups, those will be our shooting floor doors, okay? Above this little peak right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a half wall, a full wall, and then a window, like so. And it looks a little wonky, but uh, trust me, it's all good. And then this can all be filled in with door frames. So this is how the module will look in the ends. Actually, you don't want to put a wall there, you want to put windows there for the vending machines. Okay. okay. Keep it like this for now. And then you put single doors here with the vending machines, or not vending machines rather, but locker, single door, single door, open it up, perfect. And the same can be done here, but you do have to place the vending or the locker beforehand. Okay. Now this same module that was built here is going to be built on the other side. Okay, now that we're back here and in our spot ready for our thing. Now this could seem like a roof, nice roof spot. However, obviously we're doing our little thing. You can change up this base however you'd like. So if you don't want this core up here, it's personal preference. Yeah. So this is where our two loot rooms go on either or side. I do suggest sheet metaling these backings just to make it a little more expensive to reach. Even with the uh, ramps here. Nice to make this loot room nice and expensive. So just like that. Two expensive backings. Place our wall in the middle. A little bit of server issues today. And there are ramps. There we go. Just like so. And I'll double door these off. Okay, now at this point, we seal off the entire roof yet again. And we're gonna seal off the final part of the roof by coming around just full walls like this, putting one wall like this, half wall, and then seal this off. The turret will go in this little pot above, giving it just a nice little bit of coverage. And mirroring the same concepts. So at this point, we're gonna make three more external TCs, and to do that, you're simply going to place four squares out yet again. Going to keep my last one raised. Hexagon coming back. 
with a square like so, and then making your disconnectable. In a practice I sometimes do, but depending on the day, I'll make my more, my main external TC more expensive to raid compared to the others, and that way I can just save a lot on cost. Sealing this like this, and I'll actually be grade this to the proper settings. One, two, one, two, one, two. Ah, perfect. And now this one, you do not want to come back to main, by the way. And I will finish this gatehouse. And I'm only going to do one like this just to re show how to do everything. Okay. And make sure before you place that, you place these roofs. I almost forgot myself. Okay. Now, uh, I'll be right back once these other two have been made. Alright. Alrighty, boys. Once we're at this point, we got all four of our external disconnectables on. You can obviously make a compound if you'd like to. You just connect it at these little points right here of each gatehouse. And you go out about two in each direction. Before the third one, you just put in between. It usually is pretty safe. Obviously, practice this a little bit on server if you want to get it exact, like so. But doing that will be all good. For now, I'm just going to remove it because it really doesn't matter for us right now. Okay. Coming out here is time to do our actual wide gaps. So what you're probably noticing right now is the wide gaps aren't super flush. They're nothing crazy right now. So build them up three levels like so. And I usually prefer to do my sheen floor at a sheet metal and a little bit of stone. But I want the sheet metal to stay up more than anything else. So upgrading these foundations like so, that's effectively upgraded. What we'll do is we'll come like this. We got a boat, do we have to bow tie? No. So we, from our basic wide gap build out, we come out with four triangles like so, making a bow tie and sealing off like that. So you see, that's how we get our wide gaps. Now they're a little wonky about here, but that's perfectly fine. Like I said before, decently basic shooting for. So I'm gonna build up this side yet again, and you're gonna see. I'll come in like this. So, a little bit of server lag yet again. We've been having it all day. Got and as you can see now here, this is going to be a little bit. Yep, there we go. Let's see it off of this. So something to note is that this you can actually just straight walk through. So. The solution to this is by placing two double door frames right here, here, and here. There we go. Okay. Awesome. Like so. Sanctuary is having issues today, like always. Who would have guessed? All right. Like so. And that's a little module to fix that up. But continuing along with actually finishing off the stream form, we can place our next foundations. And continuing on the same pattern. Obviously, we're having some issues today with the servers, but that's okay. You can see here now that everything is pretty flush and pretty much working. So, half the shooting floor is done. So, I'm going to show you guys how to do the roof before I'm here at all. So, actually, I do have to finish this little section. Okay. Cap. So, adding in these stability points here. We will seal off the roof like so. Nice. We'll actually seal off above this section too, since we will be getting to it in just a minute. Just to save time in that later date. Okay. On each side, so the opposite side that these are on, you're gonna have this little section that is kinda gonna be honeycomb for your thing. So this can just be a simple bedroom. You can put a bed, a locker. You could either be selfish and put one bed in, or if you know how, you can also fit two beds in. However, right now, we're just gonna fit one bed and one locker just to make it nice and easy, because I'm lazy. So, boom, bedroom, with a double door on it, all cool. Now, next thing to do is I'm gonna grab sheet metal, because I like to do it like so. Coming around here, we're gonna seal off above the wide gap. Okay. And now, just simply grab your square roof tiles. 
and throw them on the outside edge of the entire base. The reason we're going to do this is because it's going to allow us to peek through this gap here to get multi-level angles. So, multi-level angles. So here's an angle we can get now. We can get angles all the way out onto here, and it just lines up that angle. Like if you see from here, that's that angle right there. Opposed to being getting peaked from just right here now, there's more options. Also, it does open up a few dirty peaks, like this one right here itself is a nice one, and you can even peek down like so. All options. But from now, you can see that half the shooting floor is done. I'll be right back when the other half is actually finished, okay? Okay, guys, at this point, you can see that the base is, well, basically done. All that's left to do is add deployables, which I let people do at their own leisure, as I don't want to baby you through the de deployable placement, as I think it's pretty easy. And it's a big waste of time. So, at this point, I'm going to show you the last roof battlements I want to show you, and the windmill placements. So, if you don't want to stick around for that, you don't have to, but I will jump over here and show that this is a windmill placement. This is a windmill placement, and we're going to make the last roof battlement, which is good for a turret pod. So jumping in like this, grabbing some boxes, ignoring the sanctuary lag, placing some half walls in here. You have to place some more normal walls like so to give you stability on the top. Or leave it empty just for an auto turret. Been having some bad issues with Sanctuary, so I apologize on some of the jump cuts throughout the video. Okay. Here we go. Okay. And boom. And then auto turret here. Auto turret here. Now, obviously, these turrets obviously don't cover the entire roof but it will deter a good amount of people and if you want to get turrets that will help cover the rest of the roof you place them somewhere like back on these areas right here if you have the extra turrets but these are just for the four basic control turrets okay ignoring the lag that sanctuary has given us i hope you guys did enjoy the video and i am so sorry it's taking me so long to make a v2 of this base there's a lot of issues that came up when making the inner peaks and all that and really trying to think of a solution that hopefully wouldn't just be patched out again so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did drop me a sub it would really be appreciated we're nearing a thousand and it's almost christmas time so merry christmas to you guys if you guys are seeing this at this time or happy new years or happy holidays in general enjoy your time enjoy your time with your family thank you guys so much for being here let's shoot for a k it's not too far off. Thanks, guys. Love you all.